For this project today, we are going to be using Bernat Maker Home Deck Yarn, which is a weight 5. We'll need a 6mm crochet hook, a pair of scissors. So today we are going to be making this Alpine Stitch Crochet Purse. And to start off, we are just going to be making a slip knot. Alright, and pop your hook up on there. And now what we are going to do is start off with a foundation chain in multiples of two. So right now I am going to be making 20 chains. And this 20 chains is going to be the width of our purse. Alright, and now that we have our 20 chains right here, as you can see, we are just going to chain up one more. That's going to be our turning chain. So now the first row is just going to be normal single crochets all the way down. So starting in the second chain from the hook, we are going to insert our hook in just that little top loop right there. I'm going to yarn over, pull through, and then we're going to yarn over and pull through those two loops on our hook. And that's how you do a single crochet. So I'm just going to continue doing this all the way down. And you want to make sure that you count a total of 20 single crochets at the very end. So I'm going to finish this up and I will show you how to finish this row at the end. Okay, so we are almost at the end. This one right here is going to be number 19. And then make sure to go into that very last stitch for 20 stitches in total. All right, and that's our first row of just normal single crochets. So for our second row, we are going to be making double crochets, which means we want to chain up three and then flip your work. Okay, so we're going to be going into the next stitch right here because our chain three is going to count as our first stitch. So to double crochet, we're going to yarn over, insert your hook through the loop, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through the first two loops on your hook, and yarn over and pull through the last two loops on your hook. Okay, so I'm going to be continue making these normal double crochets in every single stitch all the way down. And again, make sure you are counting 20 stitches in total. So I'm going to finish this row and I will come back and show you how to do row three. Okay, and we are almost done with row two, so we just want to make sure to get into those last stitches. And definitely make sure to get into this very last stitch right here. Maybe a little bit hard for beginners to see. Okay, and that's going to be 20 double crochets in total. So for row three, we are going to want to chain up one and do single crochets all the way down. Now make sure to go into this very first stitch right here because our chain one is not going to count as a stitch like our chain three normally does. So again, just normal single crochets all the way down for row three. Okay, again we're at the last two right here, that's going to be 19. And then make sure to go into the top of that chain three for your last single crochet. Okay, my bad guys, it took a bit of force to get into that stitch. Again, just a single crochet and that will be 20. So now for row four, we are starting our alpine stitch and that means we are going to chain up three because this will be a row of double crochets. Flip your work. And now we are going to go into that first double crochet right here with a front post double crochet. And that means we are going to yarn over and insert our hook behind that post right here, okay? So if you flip it this way, that's what it's going to look like. And then we are going to yarn over and pull through. And then we also wanna pull up to reach the height of a double crochet. Then yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through the last two. Okay, now for the next stitch, we are going to do a normal double crochet in the following single crochet stitch. So you can kind of see right here how we skipped that first single crochet stitch to do the front post. So we're just going to go into the following one right here and it'll line up with our uh, next double crochet. So yarn over insert and just make your normal double crochet. 
All right, and now we're going to be making our second front post double crochet. Again, it's just gonna kind of be alternating. So again, you're an over, insert your hook through the post, you're an over, pull through and up, and then you're an over, pull through the first two, and then the second two. So we're gonna continue this pattern all the way down. So for the next one, we are going to be doing the normal double crochet into that following single crochet. All right, and then the next one will be another front post double crochet. So again, it's alternating between front post double crochet and normal double crochet. So I'm just going to continue doing this pattern all the way down. And once I get to the end of this row, I will show you how to finish it up. Okay, so we are coming up at the end of this row right here. We just finished doing this front post double crochet, which means a normal double crochet is gonna go into the next stitch. Okay, and then the next one will be our front post double crochet. And now we only have two stitches left. So we're just gonna do normal double crochets in the last two stitches. Okay, that will be 19. And make sure to get into this last stitch right here for again, a total of 20 stitches. We're always gonna have 20 stitches. All right, and that's how row four is going to look and you can now start seeing that outline stitch. So for row five, we are going to chain up one and just do a row of single crochets all the way down, making sure to get into that very first stitch. Okay, and it doesn't matter if it's a front post or a normal double crochet, we're just putting a single crochet on top of every stitch. So I will finish with that row and come back and show you how to do our second row of alpine stitches. Okay, and then we're just going to go into the last two stitches like I have been doing with our single crochets. And remember to go into that top of that third chain for your last stitch. All right, so now what we're gonna do is chain up three and flip our work. And now we're onto the second row of our alpine front post double crochet crochet stitches. So what we're gonna do is alternate the previous front post double crochet pattern, which means we're gonna make a normal double crochet in that next stitch right there. Okay, and now for the following stitch, we are doing a front post double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook around that front post right there. Yarn over, pull through and up. Yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so again, it's just gonna be the alternating pattern. All right, so go into the next single crochet with a normal double crochet like we would, right here. And then here comes our next front post double crochet. Again, it's just an alternating pattern. All right, next one, normal double crochet. And then a front post double crochet right here. And once you get the hang of this, it's actually really simple and it's kind of fun, I think. All right, and you can kind of see how it's starting to look, and I think it's a really nice stitch. So I'm gonna continue this pattern all the way down and show you how to finish up this row. All right, so we're back, and I'll show you how to finish up this row because it's a bit different from the last. So we just did a front post double crochet, which means the next stitch will be a normal double crochet into that single crochet space right there, okay? Now for this row, we're gonna do one last front post double crochet. And our very last stitch will be a normal double crochet, but just make sure you remember to get it because it kind of hides back in there. Okay, and that's it. That's gonna be your pattern for the whole body of this purse. 
So again, for the next row, we're just going to chain up one, flip it, and do single crochets all the way down. But we are going to continue doing this pattern until we have reached a total of six rows of alpine stitches. So you can see right here, there we go, that's going to be our six rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And you can see right here, it's only one, two. So what you're going to do is repeat these rows right here until you reach six. And make sure you end on a single crochet row. Okay. So you can see right here that we have single crochets on both ends. And once you finish this, and don't worry about the end yet, I'll come back and show you how to finish the front portion of our purse. Okay, so we're back and I've just finished completing all six rows of the Alpine stitches. So right now, I'm just finishing up that last row of single crochets. So let's flip it over and finish that up. Again, getting into that last chain three space right there for your last stitch. All right, and we are now finally done with that first front portion of our purse. So now what I'm gonna do is make single crochets all the way down this end, make three single crochets in this corner here, then single crochet all the way down this end, three single crochets in the corner, and then single crochet all the way up. So we just make a nice border all the way around it. So what I'm going to do is chain up one, and then I'm gonna make one single crochet in this double crochet space right here. So yarn over, pull through, then pull through two. Okay, and then we're also gonna to wanna to make a single crochet in this single crochet space right here. Again, one single crochet in that double crochet space. And also one single crochet in the single crochet space. Okay, we're just gonna continue doing this all the way down. All the way down until we reach this corner. And I'm going to finish this up and then I will meet you guys back at the corner and show you how to do that. Okay, so we've now reached the corner. So I'm going to be making three double crochets in that last single crochet space on this side. So one, tighten that up. One, two, and three. And then we're going to single crochet in each of these chain spaces all the way down. And they're pretty easy to see. So I'm going to go into this first one right here, again with just a single crochet. And I'm gonna continue doing this all the way down until I hit that other corner side. So we've just reached the other corner and I'm just going to finish up these single crochets in the last few chain spaces. Okay, so now we've reached that single crochet space. So once we hit this stitch, we're gonna be making our three single crochets in that same stitch. So that was one, two, and then three. Okay, so this is how our corners are going to look. You know, pretty standard. So now onto the last side, which is gonna be the exact same as the first side we did. So again, one single crochet into that double crochet space, and then one single crochet in the single crochet space, which is not gonna be that first hole actually, but it's going to be the second hole right here. Okay, so make a single crochet in that space, and then again, single crochet into the double crochet space, 
and single crochet into the single crochet space. We're just going to be doing that all the way down this side as well. Now it's time to finish this off. So I'm going to make a single crochet in the double crochet space and then a single crochet into that very last uh, single crochet space right there. And now we are going to insert our hook into this very top stitch right here. Insert. And then we're just going to make a slip stitch to finish this off. All right. So we're just going to chain up one. And then cut. And pull through and tighten. So this is what the finished front side of the body will look like. And for the back side of, of our purse, we'll want to do the exact same steps I previously showed you, but instead of making six rows of the alpine stitches, we will be making 11 rows, okay? So it's almost twice as big as this one. And we'll do the sides, the whole border, the exact same way with the three single crochets on both corners as well. So again, everything is exactly the same. We're just doing 11 alpine rows on the back portion of it. So once you've completed that back piece, it's now time to start assembling. So make sure you've got the inside and outside parts facing the correct way, like I'm showing you right here. And our alpine stitch is going to be, going to be facing outside. So I already marked off one half of this piece and to find where you want to place your stitch marker, you want to count up from the corner end of your front piece, starting at the second single crochet in that corner of three single crochets. And I'm just going to count all the way down. And I ended up with 16 stitches for my front piece. Okay, so what we're gonna do is that very same thing on the back piece. And you're gonna to wanna to start counting from again, the second single crochet in the corner of those three single crochets. So once I start there, I just want to count up 16 stitches, and then that is going to be where I place my stitch marker. Okay, so I'm holding it right here and just taking my stitch marker or my, you know, paper clip, and I'm just going to put it through both of those stitches right there and attach it together. Okay, so now we're going to start attaching these two pieces by making single crochets all the way around. All right. And I already attached my yarn to the very last single crochet on the top of our front piece with just a normal knot. So I am going to place my hook inside of that single crochet space right there. Okay, and then we're going to place our hook, not in the stitch marker space right here, but rather the stitch above it. Okay, so not going to be this one, but the one right above it. All right, I'm just going to insert our hook into that one as well. Then I'm going to yarn over and pull through both spaces and chain up one. Okay, I'm going to take out this stitch marker right here. Sorry for the jump cut, but here's a closer view of what we're working on. So we want to go into that next single crochet right here. And then find the corresponding stitch, oh, maybe, and then find the corresponding stitch on the back side. Okay. And then we just want to yarn over and pull through both those stitches and make a single crochet. And we're just going to be doing this all the way down. Again, going into the next stitch, finding the corresponding stitch on the back, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through those two first single crochet. So as you can see, we're just going to be making those single crochets all the way around. Nothing fancy at all. I'll just show you a few more times if I can find there we go there's a working yarn again insert find the corresponding stitch 
and then make a single crochet. And you can also see that I am uh, weaving in all these ends while I am doing these single crochets as well, so I don't have to do it later. So we're just going to continue with all of these single crochets, and I will show you how to finish this up. So we are now almost done with all those single crochets. I've gone almost all the way around, and I'm just going to show you how to finish it up. It's also much easier to see when there is no ends that I'm trying to weave in. Okay, and for that last stitch, we're going to go into the very top single crochet right here. I'm going to go into the stitch above the last, and we're just going to make a slip stitch. Okay? So before we cut off any yarn, we're going to be making our strap, which can be however long you'd like, because all we're going to be doing is chaining. Obviously, if it's longer, it's going to hang down lower. You can even make it short for a little handbag too, which I think actually looks really cute with this design. But for me, I'm just going to be chaining up 80, okay? <laughs> Okay, so that's going to be about as long as I want it. Now to attach to the other side, I am going to find that single crochet row that we have just made, as you can see right here. It's going to pinch it a little bit. And I'm going to place my hook into that first single crochet space right there. It doesn't really have to be exact, you can kind of place it anywhere you like, but I'm placing it right here because I feel like it's going to have a bit more support. I'm just going to yarn over and pull through that loop and also pull through the loop on my hook as well for a slip stitch. All right, then I'm going to chain up one, grab my scissors and cut. All right, and then we're just going to pull through and tighten and I would also double knot this for extra security if you would like. All right, and that is our whole purse right here. All you need to do is weave in all those ends. So I've just finished weaving in the ends and it obviously looks a lot cleaner now. This next step is optional, but I'd like to add a button so it closes nicely. Okay, so I'm just gonna add it to the middle. And this is just one of, um, actually just one of my great grandma's buttons that I found lying around. And I thought it looked really nice with this color of yarn particularly. So I'm just going to fold over my flap and find where the center is. And I just counted four alpine stitches actually on each side of my button because that's just where the center was. And it was pretty easy to tell where the center is with these stitches. So after I find where I want to place it, I'm going to take a sewing needle. And you need to make sure that your needle fits through your buttonhole, okay? I'm trying to get it in focus. Just make sure it fits through just like so, okay? So I'm just gonna take a sewing needle and some thread like this, and I'm just gonna sew that all together. But I'm not gonna show you guys how to do this because it's kind of difficult to see, but there are many, many tutorials on the internet that will show you just exactly how to do that. All right, and as you see, my button is all sewed on, and you can only see the thread on the inside and even then, it's just barely. So now what we're gonna do is make a loop that will fit around our button. Okay, so what we're gonna do is find that middle stitch in that row of single crochets on our flap. And because we had 20 stitches in total, it's gonna be the 10th stitch. So I already attached the yarn on the 10th stitch with just a normal knot. We're gonna insert our hook and then yarn over and pull through. Okay, and then I'm going to chain up five. And I'm gonna go into the following stitch and just make a slip stitch. Okay, and there we have our little loop. So we're just going to chain up one, 
and then cut and pull through okay and there we have it we have our little loop now so after you weave in all those ends your little purse will be complete so this is the last project in my little christmas gift series which means i'm gonna be mia until the new year here on youtube and also over on my blog but for 2020 you can expect to see more clothing tutorials rather than these little accessories but again, as always, if you guys enjoy this video, please be sure to like and subscribe for more free crochet content. And if you'd like to see the written pattern for this purse, just head on down to the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video.